Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I will be watching Dread. So I have not looked up anything about this movie. The only thing that I heard in the corridors was that it's an action movie and I feel like it's been a while since I had some good action movies. So I'm actually really excited to jump into this one today. I've not heard about this one before compared to like Terminator or stuff like that where you have heard the name before. So in that sense, I don't know if this is is like a super classic let me know if you have watched this one before or multiple times in the comments if you like reactions like these make sure to like subscribe full reaction to this movie and all the other movies on this channel you can find over on patreon and on patreon i'll also post a bunch of exclusives like shows like better call soul book of boba fett mandalorian midnight mass you can find those on patreon and a bunch of movies as well let's get into this movie today <laughs> of the new one oh, i really need to hope that the future looks more bright than this because sometimes it scares me if you think like what the world is going to look like in 200 years <laughs> damn is he an executioner They have their eyes on you. Great. Perfect way to get into your vehicle. What a cool shot. This is what it feels like to be high. <laughs> Oh, he's a judge. Modern. Think of her with dead fucking me! Do you require backup? No. <laughs> no, too cool for that, yo! On the. Oh! <gasps> oh my god, that was super, like, aggressive to fully show that happening. And like we already forgot about him, I guess. Oh. Interference with a crime scene carries an automatic five year sentence in the ISO queue. Why would people interfere? Fucking get out of here! Oh, he's running. The Hotty House. <laughs> Control. Paramedics to my GPS. Multiple wounded and bodies for recycling. Damn, you need to be able to like compartmentalize and just focus on what you need to do and like ignore everything that is happening because I would be like, oh no, oh no, oh no. I guarantee you a sense of life in an ISO cube without parole. That's a deal you offered? Only if you comply. Otherwise you're dead. If you do not comply, the sentence is death. <laughs> you know, you aren't a very good negotiator, Judge. Yeah, I kind of feel like, mm. You let me walk or I blow her fucking brains out, okay? Negotiations over. Didn't you hear what he said? I'll kill the bitch! Yeah, I heard your hot shot. Uh oh, he's dead. Hot shot. <laughs> oh, literally a hot shot. Oh, gosh. What I wonder though, if I knew I would have to be in prison for the rest of my life without a chance to ever get out. Or die on the spot the and like adjusted. don't think about it for five seconds, which would I choose? That's an interesting question, isn't it? Cassandra Anderson, 21. Her final academy score put her three percentile points below a pass. So what's she doing in a uniform? Yes, yeah, you failed. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but when I failed the university, it was a um, good look. We take the exam. How many people are observing you? Two. Oh my god, she has a skill. Another judge. I can feel anger and control. There's something else, something... Uh-oh, she's gonna call him out. She's the most powerful psychic we've ever come across by a huge margin. We believe she could be a major asset. Hell yeah. Give her one day in the field, supervised. See if she makes a grade. It's interesting that they don't announce her as being this great psychic and also super genius, really smart. No, it's like, you kind of don't pause, but... You have this skill, so let's try. <laughs> oh my god, like 
I've never taken drugs in my life, but watching this movie would almost be willing. <laughs> Look at that water. I love taking a bath. <laughs> Is she, um... Oh, wait, I want to see one more scene right here. Worn them off with a beating a couple of weeks ago. Guess it didn't work. You can't deal with it yourself. Is that Cersei? <laughs> Skin him. Toss him over the balcony. Hit him with a little slow mo first. Sure. Oh, is that the drug? Slow mo? Because that seems to be the effect that the bathtub had. Look at that dead stare. Oh, f my life. Oh, but then it takes longer if you put their torture in slow motion. Uh oh. Verdomme. Doe Oh, f life. Imagine that. This tree houses 75,000 registered citizens. It has the highest crime rate in sector 13, unemployment rate of 96%. 96%? Damn. Oh. So why do you want to be a judge? I want to protect and serve the city to make a difference. Make a difference to a block like this? Oh yeah, imagine if you could turn that around. I know there are good people inside. Good families just trying to get by. Yes, I believe I can make a difference. I love that. Drugged, skinned, displayed in public. I think it's a punishment killing. Someone's trying to send a message. Don't fuck with the Mama clan. Mama clan? We have her on record from her whoring days. Ex hooker from the S9 Pleasure District. Quit working when she got sliced up by a pimp. Black legend says she feminized the guy with her teeth. Mama is like mom in Dutch. So I'm like, interesting choice. I bet you that she was cast for Game of Thrones because of this movie. <laughs> I'm wondering when you'd remember you left your helmet behind. Sir, a helmet can interfere with my psychic abilities. I think a bullet might interfere with some more. Great. It's a lose-lose situation. Whoa. Okay, the use of this slow-mo effect in this film is incredible. I feel like I've never seen anything like this in terms of special effects. Maybe didn't want to see that in slow-mo. Anderson, judgment. Crime, possession and use of controlled substances. Sentence, two years ISO cubes. No, don't tell me, tell control. It's like, I know. <laughs> Four bodies for recycle and eight live for the ISO cubes. Copy that, meat wagon inbound. Recycle. Is that for the dead ones? At least we recycle. The man who murdered the people in the atrium. You sure? She did that. We'll take him in. See how he holds up after a few hours of interrogation. He's like, this just called me out. <laughs> Based on what? Sir, he's thinking about making a move for your gun. He just changed his mind. She might be very convenient <laughs> having her around. Stand clear of doors. <gasps> All remain calm. How unlucky can you be that you're not like half a meter to the other side? That's scary, locking them all just in. Lockdown complete. Oh, okay. You're my b now. This is Mama. Somewhere in this block are two judges. Oh my god. Like a spot. All clan, every level. Not the judges down. Sit tight. Or run. Doesn't matter. Control, we have a situation developing in peach trees. Did you copy? I'm surprised they're not dead yet. The moment she said lock down until they're dead, I thought people would be starting to shoot them. <laughs> And yeah, they also won him, right? He can give them a lot of info. All right. I wanted action, got some. <laughs> They're like with two people. Um.
bomb. This crime is attempted murder of a judge. The sentence is death. He's gonna do some psychicery. Oh, she actually did it. I didn't expect that. Oh, and like when you look them right in the face, I feel like that makes it harder, you know? Then just be like, but then be like, okay, this is you, this is me. Goodbye. Switch weapon to silencer mode. Our best bet now is to go covert, conserve ammunition. Yeah, isn't there ammo gonna run out eventually? What about the prisoner? Explain. Well, it's just that under the circumstances, he could be a liability. Also a prime suspect in three homicides. Wanna cut him loose? No, sir. And if she's not going to open up this thing until they're dead, they have no chance, right? Nobody's getting in either, so I don't think Mama is in a hurry. Claire, secure the woman somewhere she can't raise any alarms. She has a baby asleep in the next room. There a father? It's out there looking for us. Great. I'm not raising any alarms. If the men out there don't know where you are, you won't be killing them. Go on. That's smart. She's actually protecting him by not raising alarm. It works as long as you're hitting a button above level 75. I just want you off my level. Away from my family. Makes sense. Oh, me. Me. Her life is a mess. And she doesn't know it yet. Since becoming a mom seems like this can be so much harder. If you want more reactions and you want some exclusive full-length reactions, you can find those on Patreon. There I have posted full reactions to these movies exclusively. And also I'm working on a lot of shows on there. For example, Better Call Saul, I've uploaded Book of Boba Fett as well. Last month I did Midnight Mass and this month I'll be uploading Fargo Season 1 exclusively on Patreon. I also have something in store for next month, so make sure to check out Patreon if you want more. Let's go back to the movie reaction. I'll position behind the elevator shaft. If I don't come back and you get cornered, you might not want to get taken alive. She's like, this is a fa great first day of my job. Stuff the clan would do to a girl like you. Nasty. Yeah, let's play the game about who can shut up the longest, sir. Like, what am I thinking about right now? Oh, what are you thinking about now, huh? <laughs> Thank God. I was like, I really don't want to see what he's thinking about now. Also, like, I feel like there's a massive difference if you can choose whenever you can read their thoughts or when you don't. Like, when he's actually trying to shock you, you can just shut him out. Oh, shit. Fire! Yeah, it might not be the easiest to get them to work. <laughs> Here's the accountant shop. Fits you right as a glove maybe a nurse maybe she could be a nurse i don't think she would do well in retail <laughs> oh it's just skateboarding as ah, so they're actually on the outside i thought it was like outside you know but still on the inside but it's actually the outside there's no way they survive they're not dead till we find them dead. Yeah, where would they have gone otherwise? <gasps> Goodbye! Oh, don't show it. Don't show it. Thank you. Yeah, that was her buddy. She doesn't want you interrogated. She's afraid of what you might say. And that's got me curious. Sure, he doesn't die. Sir, if you leave it to me, he doesn't have to speak. Well then. <laughs> Welcome to the inside of your head. <laughs> it's kind of empty in here. <laughs> that's so rude. Hey, I can play mind games too. Eh. Uh. <laughs> Damn, she's a better. Got it. Oh, sad boy. What are the options, Anderson? Keep moving and attempt to avoid further detection or find a place to defend. You're giving us two options defend or hide. Yes, sir. 
He wants to attack. What about we attack? That's straight for Mama. Well, she's guilty. We're judges. So with backup inbound, I think we should wait until the odds have shifted in our favor. I would too. Wrong answer. I guess I would be terrible. You're the psychic. <gasps> Why didn't I shoot him? Why didn't you? Because we're both scared. <laughs> we'll have to be as we Just kids. Info terminal. Let's check the schematics. How did the graffiti even get there? Like, how do you physically get it there? <laughs> freeze! Why should I freeze? I'll shoot you. With the safety on? It is. <laughs> gotcha. She wasn't aware? That's super disappointing. You are so fucked. Yeah, I'd be scared shitless. How much time do they have to save her? I wouldn't say five minutes. Didn't she say that she grew up there? What if somebody recognizes her? Inhabitants of Pink Trees. This is Judge Dredd. The voice is such like Mandalorian vibes, I feel like. <laughs> With the helmet on as well. I am the law. Ooh. You have been warned. And as for you, Mama, judgment time. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that it was just going to be too short for them to track him down. Oh, attention. It's not him. It's the <laughs> Bomb. The whole setup of this movie is super interesting with not having like a, a separate island or something that's not connected to the world but if, like using an apartment building it has some very cool effects I like that stop this guy call 911 what that's a thing <laughs> interesting if you wanted to be cast as a judge in this movie it just looked at you like this, and you had to have a good, like, face. They all have, like, from this, block. this. Two judges under fire request. As resting face. This killing's all about one gang, the Mama clan. I'd say at least one of your two judges is still alive. You prepared to testify to that? Sure. <gasps> Wait. They're on her side? On the... One million credits. Million. You have a problem with the judge. You know who he is? No. I do. One million. Holy shit. It's an interesting question. Like, how much does one need to pay you? It's so disappointing. It also makes it a lot trickier. Don't you think that they're in danger as well? People in the block are hunting judges. So why would they make a difference? Good to see you, Dread. You long? Negative. Three-man squad closing on my vector right now. So relax. Cavalry's here. Two of us called in the 1024. Wondering why you didn't ask about the other one. Because he knows about the other one. Oh man. So good that people are so smart in these situations because I would be like, Oh my god, you're here to save me, yay! Who is winning? Ah. Yeah. Choke on that. But also, like, if he goes back outside, how will he explain that they were banned? It's crazy when it comes to this situation, but also, like, if you watch interrogations, like, how people can basically show that they're guilty by not being able to hide that they know specific information. Like, being brought in and not asking how the victim is doing. Like, why would you not ask how your partner or your mom or your, you know, like, how they're doing? Only if you know that they're dead, you know? Oh my god. Ah, that's a cool trick. Yes. Now what though? <laughs> okay. I see her first. I shoot her. 
She sees me first, she hesitates, then I shoot her. Wow, you're an interesting character. I guess you need to split the one million between less people, so good on you, I guess. They're like still working. The whole place is shut down, trying to look for churches and killing and bombings everywhere. And they're just like, let's do our jobs. <laughs> What's the price of a judge these days? Million. Split four ways. Three ways now. They're like, oh, damn. Oh, not even. <laughs> okay. Doesn't sound like much to betray the law. Betray the city. I would find it way worse to be a murderer law and sit like you actually are a murderer at that point. Oh no. It's like we'll make do with what we have. Yikes. She has dates. Lower your gun, rookie. I'm your backup. Oh. So the helmet doesn't stop it. Wait, that means that she could also read Dread's mind. <gasps> wow, that is kind of a flaw in the system. If a judge can pierce another judge's armor, or we just believe that they will never do that. His name is Lex. Wait. The irony of being called law. Are you kidding me? Did you just say wait? Trigger your curiosity. I mean, wait for what? Wait for me to change my mind? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I can watch a million movies, but I'll never be fine looking at stuff like that. In law school, we had a joke and it was like, if I could see blood, I would have studied medicine. If I was good with numbers, I would have been an engineer, but I can't do anything really well. So I just went to law school. <laughs> yeah. It's funny that I find that hard to watch while I am a diabetic and I have two things injected in myself all the time, like a sensor and an infusion set. So it's not like I'm... Not used to that. <laughs> What's it doing though? You're a piece of work, Dread. Is she gonna self explode? This entire level is rigged with enough high explosives to take out the top 50 stories. So oh no. Oresco 2. It's a transmitter synced to my heartbeat. Oh me. Nee. My heart stops beating. The building blows. Everyone in it. Ash. People who are like, you need to keep me alive or others die. That's such a twisted. Ugh. Oh, whoa, Dread, you need to think a little bit here. Doesn't Anderson know? Can she not like do the mind reading and. Um. We're a kilometer above ground. What do you figure the range is on that thing? Could it get through 100 levels of concrete? Let's find out. Your crimes are multiple homicide in the manufacture and distribution of narcotics. How do you plead? Ah, so if she is down, it will not trigger the bomb because the signal is not strong enough. Oh my god. It's actually very interesting way you're filming this death. Anderson, your assessment's now over. <laughs> She's done. So what happened in there? Drug bust. Looked like you've been through it. Perps were uncooperative. So how did she do? She a pass? Or fail. So hard. The fact that she survived would consider her a pass She's anyway. A pass. Yeah, duh. Knew she would be. Wait, are there other dead movies? Because I feel like this is like the end, but it also could be the beginning. 
I was wanting some action, but this movie was way better than I even anticipated. I think it's because it was super crime oriented as well, like the law, the judges, bringing justice to the criminals directly. I really loved but what I loved even more was just some special effects that I feel like I've not seen other movies. Just a simple idea of the slow-mo drugs. I don't know if there's other, other drugs out there that have that effect as well, so maybe it's not that original. That is so well thought out because it's such a simple thing that brings an amazing storyline together. The effect that it brings visually as well was so cool because you have the contrast between flowy, vibey, bubbly, fairy, like drugs effect versus what is actually happening while they're on it. I thought that was so well done. Stylistically, I really love that this was a short movie because sometimes I feel like movies get dragged out so long. This could have been way longer, right? They could have put in so many more things to drag it out, but I'm glad they didn't because that way you had a very quick movie with a fun storyline and you could keep your attention for the full movie and we're like impressed all the time. But I think if this was a three hour movie, I would not have enjoyed it as much. So yeah, I really liked it. And the fact that there's a Dread 2 in the making, I cannot wait to watch that one as well. There were a little bit of like bloody moments, but I don't think it was too much, especially like how um, Mama actually fell down and then that death was stylistically filmed so interesting that even people like me were like, whoa, that is actually really cool done. So I really enjoyed this one. I hope you enjoyed this reaction as well. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. If you have other action movies that I've not seen and you want me to react to, let me know in the comments. And as always, if you want to see the full reaction, you can find that over on Patreon to everything I do on this channel and some amazing exclusives as well. So thank you so much if you check that out because it supports me and my family a lot. I'll see you in the next one. Have a lovely rest of your day. Bye-bye.